Welcome to ArcEng Build 2016. We're here in the University of Auckland's Architecture School, so thank you for hosting us this year. This year's challenge was about designing a co-housing space in Auckland. So I think the brief is really looking at the co-housing concept, so looking at creating a community in our building. It's like a shared housing aspect and then the whole idea is to bring the community together so the occupants really have an opportunity to form relationships with each other. This year we selected somewhere just off K Road near where the train station is about to be built, so a real urban environment. It's all about living, working and playing in the city you live in. K Road's quite a busy road but because it was sort of off the side street it was actually not very busy in terms of the um, central city Auckland. Drew a bit of inspiration while incorporating that with the, our client uh, briefing. I'd like to thank Grant Thomas for organising the site visit this year to the Auckland Art Gallery. Uh, truly a work of art in and of itself. Um, so thank you for organising that and taking us around, um, seeing the engineer and the builder uh, helping us look a little bit behind the scenes at some of the things that people walk past as they're looking at the beautiful artwork. Um, a real treat. I've been to the art gallery a number of times, beautiful architecture, beautiful art, but what I never experienced was someone telling me what was happening behind the walls. We were um, all quite taken by the cowrie yeah. ceilings, that was definitely like um, a point, so we incorporated that into our design. This year's event is now Arc Eng Build, we've uh, brought a buildability component to the teams, so we have construction management students from across New Zealand. Uh, the dynamics of a three-person team has increased the complexity of communication, but we feel as though if you can only design something, you've got to get it built. So getting something built, keeping the customer happy and bringing in those buildability aspects right into the design phase is going to be fantastic for these guys to take into their early career. As the organiser, this is the fifth year we've run Arc Engine this year, Arc Engine Build Workshop, and uh, every year I'm just amazed at the quality of what these teams can produce, literally over 48 hours. I think at least some of them have only had an hour or two sleep last night. It's all about the teams and the projects and the hard work they've put in over the last couple of days. I'd like to thank the supporters and sponsors of Arc Engine Build 2016 from the construction materials sector and the professional associations. The pitch that the students have to give is 15 minutes to the judging panel and it's not an assignment, it's not a presentation, it's about capturing a vision and uh, it's, it's the kind of thing that you have to do in your early career, day in day out. So we're really hoping that they'll be taking this concept of selling visions to their workplace. I've never really had the chance to work with an architect and a, and a construction guy right from the start of a project. It's been such a wonderful experience to get to meet not only people from your own discipline at different universities but the other disciplines and to work with them and get a new perspective on the way of beginning a design. We're looking forward to being there tonight for the prize giving with Minister Goodhue. So uh, there's going to be a lot of pressure between now and then, uh, a lot of relief. Uh, really looking forward to the event. Well, kia ora tato and good evening and a warm welcome to you all. And I want to thank you all for joining us here today and particularly acknowledge our sponsors. Um, it's great to have their continued support, but we've also had broadening support for this event, which is just fantastic. Fantastic this year to see the event expand into Arc Eng Build and have the um, construction management students involved. And I you know, hear from talking to students that that's been a really rich add in this year. I've certainly gone around the room talking to a few of you, can see how much you are absolutely humming, sleep deprived, yes. <laughs> Keep collaborating and ensure that the communication that you have tested and developed 
working with personalities you've never met before, it's a first, but let it be the normal for you as you develop in your careers. And the winner, and I can't wait to see some depiction of the project, or as many as possible, the winner is Sunset Boulevard. It went really well. Um, I think we sort of got our ideas and passion across to the judges and the audience, audience really well. We kind of chose to tackle it in a different way that everyone did, so it was kind of a bit of a gamble, but I think that it paid off in the end. We don't really get this opportunity in uni, and so here it is, we grabbed it, and um, it was really worthwhile. Give me a feel of how it's going to be like working with these guys here when I come out into the industry. And Coming here and kind of incorporating all our ideas and having to work together as a team is important and it is, as Carl said, like how we will get out into the industry.